M1 Garand. The rifle is chambered for the .30-6 Springfield cartridge and is named after its Canadian-American designer, John Garand. It was the first standard-issue auto-loading rifle for the United States. By most accounts, the M1 rifle performed well. Designer, John C. Garand. Designed, 1928. M1 Garand. French-Canadian-born Garin went to work at the United States Army Springfield Armory and began working on a .30 caliber primer actuated blowback model 1919 prototype. In 1924, 24 rifles, identified as Mo 922S, were built at Springfield at Fort Benning during 1925. They were tested against models by Berthier, Hatcher Bang, Thompson, and Pedersen, the latter two being delayed blowback types. This led to a further trial of an improved M1924 Garin against the Thompson, ultimately producing an inconclusive report. As a result, the Ordnance Board ordered a .30-6 Garin variant. In March 1927, the Cavalry Board reported trials among the Thompson, Garin, and three Springfield had not led to a clear winner. This led to a gas-operated .276 model. The M1 Garin was made in large numbers during World War II. Approximately 5.4 million were made. They were used by every branch of the United States military. The rifle generally performed well. General George S. Patton called it the greatest battle implement ever devised. The impact of faster firing infantry small arms and general soon stimulated both Allied and Axis forces to greatly increase their issue of semi and fully automatic firearms then in production, as well as to develop new types of infantry firearms. Some military drill teams still use the M1 rifle, including the U.S. Marine Corps Silent Drill Team, the United States Air Force Academy Cadet Honor Guard, the U.S. Air Force Auxiliary, almost all Reserve Officer Training Corps and some Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps teams of all branches of the U.S. Military. Additionally, it's also used overseas by the drill team of His Majesty the King's Guard of Norway. The M1 rifle is a .30 caliber, gas-operated, eight-shot clip-fed, semi-automatic rifle. It is 43.6 inches long and it weighs about 9.5 pounds. The M1 safety catch is located at the front of the trigger guard. It is engaged when it is pressed rearward into the trigger guard and disengaged when it is pushed forward and is protruding outside of the trigger guard. The M1 Garand was designed for simple assembly and disassembly to facilitate field maintenance. It can be field stripped without tools in just a few seconds. The rifle had an iron sight line consisting of rear receiver aperture sight protected by sturdy ears calibrated for 100 and 100 yards increments. The bullet drop compensation was set by turning the range knob to the appropriate range setting. The bullet drop compensation Range knob can be fine adjusted by sending the rear sight elevation pinion. The elevation pinion can be fine adjusted in approximately 1 MOA increments. The aperture sight was also able to correct for wind drift operated by turning a windage knob that moved the sight in approximately 1 MOA increments. The windage lines on the receiver to indicate the windage setting were 4 MOA apart. The front sighting element consisted of a wing guard's protected front post.